What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today is uh, just another quick video. I am changing out the current Motaz Tractionator Rouse that I have on here and I'm putting on a Motaz Tractionator Adventure. I want to give the adventure a shot. Uh, just seeing as I do ride some, some road, uh, you know, commuting and some stuff like that, it's kind of, you know, I, I, was, I want to see if I can still do something a little bit knobby, but, you know, keep up a, a little bit better performance on speed. So we'll see. But it's still quite a knobby tire. There's nothing uh, weak about this tire at all. So <laughs> this thing should perform well. I'm getting ready for the Idaho BDR, as I mentioned in the last video that I uh, did. So this is kind of all along those same lines. So you can see my luggage is sitting here. I'm work working on getting all that ready. Changing tires, cleaning chains, my oil maintenance and everything is all good. Cleaning the air filter, just doing all that kind of stuff. But, you know, changing out tires is kind of a big deal. And, um, you know, I happen to have a really nice uh, little tire changer that my buddy Taz gave to me. Um, and I just changed, in exchange, I changed his tires for him and it works out good. So that way I can change my tires all the time and I can just change his whenever he needs it. And uh, So yeah, it works out good. But anyways, so I just want to run you guys through how I change tires and uh, just how simple and quick the process is. Okay, so to start things off, obviously you need to pull the wheel off of the bike and uh, and you know, get everything unhooked under here. So on the KTM 1290 that I have, I didn't record this, but it's uh, it's just the one single nut on the uh, passenger side. Uh, this you just take this off, and then you tap. I put that so that axle, the the axle that runs through here, um, it sticks out on this side. And so in order to get it to, to loosen up and pop out the other side. I just, you know, put something soft on the front of it and then just tap it with a hammer to get it to pop out the other side. Pull that out, push it forward, pull the chain off the sprocket, and then just roll it back out of here. And then the only thing, you know, when you're putting it back in, the only thing you gotta pay attention to is your brake caliper here, your pads, just make sure that it, it's open like this. And it should go right back in, no problem. So, anyways, we're gonna that. And we're gonna get the change in the tire. Okay, so, um, one thing that was mentioned in my last uh, tool video that I, or like the tool roll kit that I carry from the motorcycle was a uh, ballast stem tool. So I actually have on my motorcycle front and rear, I have uh, metal ballast stem caps that have the tool in it to be able to remove the, the uh, Schrader valve in there. So I, that's what we're gonna do. go ahead and do right now. So let me pull the air out of this tire. That's the Schrader valve, for those of you that haven't seen it, that's what's inside there. This little tool grabs onto the top of that. It's a little bit difficult to do with one hand, but I hope you get the idea. So the top of the Schrader valve is kind of squared off. That grabs onto it, and that's how you are able to remove your Schrader valve. Okay, so here are the tools that I'm using. I'm using my uh, unplugged table saw as a bench top here, but uh, just make sure you don't lose this when you take it out of the tire. So tools that I'm using, I have three good tire irons here. Um, three is probably, is pretty decent. I Sometimes I'll use four if it's a really tough tire and I don't have this tire changing stand or whatever. Without that, it can be a little bit tough, but with three and that stand, I'm good to go. And then I have uh, Motion Pro uh, Rim Shield. So these just help you, you know, not mar up your, uh, your rims when you're using those tire irons to pop the beads and to pull, put tires back on. So kind of helps out. And then for air compressor, I'm using uh, the Milwaukee M12 air compressor. This should be fine. Put the bead back on because um, as long as, oh, and then I have some soapy water here that I'll use to put everything back on um, and pop the bead and all that. And then this new Motaz tire, the way that they come, they come with this cardboard spacer in here. So it really helps keep the the uh, bead set apart and so it shouldn't be any issue to set that bead but we'll see So one thing to note, right where the uh, valve stem is right here, this, 
that's where there's a, so on these bikes at least, there's a TPMS sensor, and so if you, you don't want to be like cranking down on the bead right there and you end up popping that, so, uh, like breaking that TPMS sensor. So uh, just make sure you're careful right around the area of the valve stem. He's broken. Go in here. You guys saw all that, but it's <laughs> funny how squared off this tire is. I can't even tell when it's on the bike. It's really squared. But anyways, all right, we are gonna start working and put the new tire on. It's pretty simple to get a tire off as you can see. Alright you guys, so that kind of wraps up that video. I know it's small, it's simple, whatever. It's nothing really that impressive, but I just want to throw it out there for you guys in case you need some assistance when you want to change your tires or whatever. If you can't figure out what you, you know, what you're supposed to be doing on and everything. So, 
I've been changing all my own tires for a little while now. I've never had any issues. Um, I don't want to catch some flack for this, but I don't balance my tires. Uh, I have not had any issue with, with these Motaz tires that I've been running with not balancing. Um, I've never noticed any kind of weird wear, any kind of weird noise, uh, shaking, anything like that. No head shake. I, I don't have any issues, and I don't balance my tires. My my buddy Taz, we, we I learned that from him. He was the one who kind of told me that. So. I'll probably catch some flack for that, but I've had no issues, so I don't see what the harm is in not balancing my tires. I'm also not out there riding 130 on knobbies either, so maybe with a sport bike tire might be a little bit different, but for this, it's a great, it's, it's been no issue at all. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and we'll see you on the next one.